He was put to death because of our sins. He was raised to life because of our justification. But that single verse in Romans, Paul sums up the glory and wonder of both Good Friday and Easter morning. When our Lord Jesus cried out, it is finished and bowed his head and died, sin was finished. He had accomplished and taken the curse of it all. And then on Easter morning, when the father raised his son from the dead, it was the father's stamp of approval, his acceptance of his son's death. And by that, he declared a world of sinners not guilty. Nothing could get in the way between us and our God, between approaching our creator and our redeemer. But may I call your attention to a piece of Good Friday and Easter that proclaims that beautifully, but is often somewhat overshadowed by everything else? It's the tearing of the veil in the temple. That veil had separated the holy place from the most holy place, that symbol of God's presence among his people for centuries. No one could enter the most holy place except once a year on the Day of Atonement, the high priest, and only with the blood of a sacrifice. By that, God sent a powerful message that we cannot enter his presence on our own. That separation was real. And woven into that veil were cherubim, a reminder of those flaming cherubim that had once blocked the path of Adam and Eve trying to get back into the Garden of Eden. Sin separates God and fallen creatures. But then on that great atonement day, as our Lord Jesus bowed his head and died, there was that miracle of God's grace that tore the temple top to bottom, saying nothing, nothing anymore gets in the way of sinners being able to approach a God who has forgiven them. That is the glory of Good Friday and Easter morning. It, it, it is the power of God's grace and mercy in our Lord Jesus. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And we have access to our God through our Lord Jesus. Please accept as a small gift this Easter, this rest of this video of our college choir singing the song, draw near through Christ, and that beautiful anthem. They trace that story of sin and grace woven through the Old Testament up to the time of Christ, from the cherubim in the garden to the tearing of the veil in the temple to our standing before our God forever. May God bless your celebration of Easter.